Hello, this is Neurotic Vows from YouTube, and I've done I haven't done a rant video in such a long time, so I'm deciding to do a new one. This one is one that you've heard many other people do. I know it's probably annoying by now, but I have to talk about me being an atheist and people's reaction towards it. I, many people I've run into when they find out that I'm atheist, they always have to try to interfere with that in some way. They always have an issue with it. They can't let me just live as an atheist. Um, one of the one of the many things people try to do is they'll try to convert me. They'll say, "Oh, you know, you you live a much happier life with God in your life, and and Jesus Christ can help you you help you live in eternal peace in the afterlife." And just they, they just go on and on about like why I need to be Christian and why I need to convert to what they believe and I just don't believe in any of the in any of the stuff they try to teach me I mean I've read the book Bible I've read the Quran I've read a few different religious books um, but I just do not agree with any of that like when I read it I just don't see I just don't see any of it relating to me I don't it just does not fit my life um, it seems to to me, a lot of these books, if uh, if you actually follow these books, it, they seem to create more problems than they actually solve. Um, me, uh, and I have way too many issues with what I read in the Bible and what I read in other books. I'm not going to get into that with this video, though. I'm I'm not even I'm not going to touch what I have issues with. But there are people that seem to make it their own personal mission, their own personal mission to save save my soul. From eternal damnation even though in Christianity the people are brought up to believe to not judge people by who they are and yet here the people are judging me and basically saying that I'm gonna go to hell unless I believe exactly what they believe in which is not true and um, maybe if they follow the religion they can actually see that they shouldn't f uh, impose that kind of stuff on me it's almost as if they can't live with people that have different thoughts. Like, oh, you're not supposed to believe different things. You're supposed to believe the same thing I do. Me, I don't care if you believe a different thing. You can believe whatever you want. I'll be your friend no matter what. If you believe in Christianity and Buddhism, it doesn't matter. I'm not even going to go because it's not important to me what you believe in. What, what I care about is the actual person, not what you believe in. And, you know, I can discuss religion with people if you really want. I don't mind discussing religion. Um, but just don't try to convey that you're trying to push it on me. Um, another conclusion people like to jump to is because I am atheist, I automatically have no morals. Um, I actually live by a lot of morals, um, a lot more than most Christians seem to, to follow. Because I have never done any form of drugs, alcohol, or tobacco, or marijuana for that matter. And, and people think, um, well, you know, you're an atheist. You don't believe that there's a there's penalty for, for afterlife and stuff like that. So you probably don't have any morals. Well, I do. And I seem to have done less of the bad stuff than a lot of Christians seem to. I know a lot of Christians that smoke cigarettes every day. That I know, I know some of them that smoke pot. I know some of them that drink. But um, th there's... There, there's a difference between being ignorant towards people who are atheist and just misunderstanding. I also I also don't curse under my own context. The only time I curse is if I'm quoting something or when I'm doing a voice, like being in character, not being myself. I do not like to cuss under my own context. It's just not part of who I am. I don't see the point in cussing um, unless you actually need to really emphasize something and if you're a person like me who rarely ever cusses when you do cuss it actually drives a point home much more than someone who says the F word every third third word or you know or whatever so I live my life without religion but with a lot of morals and I find it funny because you know religion is based around morals I mean, that's what religion is there for. It's to teach morals. 
And if if you're if you're a religious religious person, and you don't follow as many uh, if you don't follow the morals of your religion, are you really the person you think you are? Do you really believe what you are taught and what you're told, or are, are you finding it more of a of a back net to catch you in case, just in case it was right? So, so basically, my main point is, if you see someone who is different than you. No matter, no matter what they say they believe, don't force yourself upon them. You know, people live much happier lives if they're le if you leave them alone and let them follow what they want to follow. It's you know we live in a free country, and I find one thing kind of interesting. You know, people escaped to the U.S. and you know started the entire concept of the United States. And the concept of separation from church and state. Now, this separation of church and state doesn't seem to exist in politics, uh, even though it's supposed to. And because how many, how many things have presidents done in the name of God or because God told them to? I really think a lot of these politicians are using God as a backbone, so they can get, a, so they can do things without as much obstruction. Because they know a lot of people in the United States will support a person more if they say that they believe that this is God's will and and if they identify with all the Christians. I really think the best way to have separation from church and state is to have an atheist president. Mainly because he wouldn't have an, a religious agenda at all. He, um, none at all. He wouldn't start a war because God told him to. <clears throat> Iraq but unfortunately many many different polls have shown that the US would not hire or an elect I mean an atheist president which kind of goes back to the whole judging people for what they believe anyway I'm just gonna, gonna end it right there well that's the end of that rant um, if you if you enjoy any of my videos, please please leave a comment, rate, and subscribe to my channel. Um, this has been Neurotic Vows, and I hope to come up with a more original rant next time. And until then, I will say goodbye.